What's going on out there in Austin, Texas on the recruiting trail? Who better to make sense of it all than inside Texas's very own Justin Wells? Justin, a lot of big decisions are on the horizon, perhaps none bigger uh, than five-star safety Jonah Williams. I know he's announcing this weekend. Anything you're hearing around him as it pertains to the Longhorns right before his decision? You know, J.D., this, this recruitment has become – it, it, it's really interesting because that Jonah and his family have been really good about keeping a lot of this close to the vest. This is a group that does not look for attention on social media. And that is refreshing in my opinion. Uh, you know, it's, there's been, a, it feels like it's been half a dozen teams that have had some sort of lead in this recruitment from Oklahoma to Texas A&M to Oregon, LSU, USC. And the one school he didn't take an official visit to to tech to, is to Texas and there's some guarded optimism right now in Austin when it comes to Jonah Williams. He's announcing on Saturday from his stadium uh, at Galveston Ball High School. My answer could change in 30 minutes. It could change in three hours. This is a fluid recruitment as much as you can imagine. Texas just has done an amazing job at solidifying the football side of it, making sure baseball has its its part with Jim Slosnagel and those guys and then making sure the NIL is lined up because this is an NIL recruitment. And so, you know, this is a fantastic athlete. Older brother Nick Williams played baseball for the Texas Rangers, the Philadelphia Phillies. He was actually committed to Texas at one point before he signed with A&M. But right now, there's some guarded optimism in Austin about Jonah Williams and the Horns. And uh, I just wish it was closer to Saturday because that's a lot. there's a lot more time in between here where this thing could just – tilt either direction but right now uh texas has uh, a little bit of confidence well from one five star to another let's uh let's talk about another in-state kid michael terry out of san antonio the five-star athlete i know there's nebraska in the mix for him but what, what's latest with texas right now yeah texas looks great they look great there but oregon and nebraska are not letting up oregon uh, he's got a close relationship with oc will stein when he was the oc at uh, utsa he actually offered terry in eighth grade and anybody that knows coach stein is he's a tremendous coach tremendous man he's been you know he's been building that relationship nebraska may be recruiting him the hardest you know when 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 matt rule sends the entire staff to alamo heights to hang out with the number one athlete you get his attention and he's even talked we had joe our joe cook was was on the scene uh, for, for his scrimmage last friday got to talk to him a little bit he's looking at another trip to texas looking at a potential trip to oregon he even talked about going to lincoln and possibly seeing uh nebraska there's a little bit of whisper that this decision could go into his senior year but i still feel like he wants him and his family want to get this over with before the senior season starts if they can now with that changes, that remains to be seen. That's something we have to keep our ears to the ground. But to me, I think Texas has the lead there. I think they just have to hold on pretty tight because, like I said, Oregon has, is doing a tremendous job in this cycle in 2020, 2025. Give them a lot of credit. Nebraska is doing a great job in this cycle. You have to give Matt Rule and those guys a ton of credit. They are recruiting him primarily at wide receiver, and they're doing a great job. But when him and his family hooked up with A.J. Milwee for the OV in Austin, and they basically put out, put out in the plan, look, we don't know what position he's going to play. We can let him try out on offense on first, whether it be an H-back, a tight end. He could potentially be a, a third receiver in this 2025 class for Texas. I think the Horns lead there, but I think it's slight. And it's one of those things where you've just got to really hold on because Nebraska and Oregon are not letting up on the nation's number one athlete. One recruitment that's just about over is a four-star offensive tackle, Nick Brooks, out of the state of Georgia. Texas moving to the SEC. I know they'd like to land an offensive tackle from SEC country. What's the latest you're hearing around him before he makes his decision? Yeah, man, Nick Brooks is the quintessential large human that Kyle Flood, the O-line coach of Texas, covets. Six, seven and a half, 350. I mean, that's just – he's just a big boy. And, and it really he had a ton of offers, and it, it, the, he moved in from Iowa. You know, this is a kid that was down to Texas, USC, and Georgia. And I actually think this is probably a Texas-USC battle. I actually like where Texas stands a lot uh, with Michael Fasusi's decision. It makes a lot of sense for 
uh, for, for, for Texas to, to make a, a little bit of a push for Brooks because they do need one of the, a, a tackle in this 2025 cycle. They've already got a handful of guards. Uh, Nick Brooks fits the bill. You know, he's exactly what Kyle Flood looks for in these big tackles. He reminds me a little bit of Cam Williams, maybe not as athletic, but definitely stronger and with really good feet. And so, you know, Kyle Flood, every cycle, Kyle Flood is going to get one of the largest kids <laughs> – in that class he does it every year and i'm a big fan of nick brooks not just on the field but i love that i think nil is going to be one of the factors that helps nick brooks life a lot of times the nil numbers get thrown out a lot of conjecture a, a lot of stipulation but with nick brooks i think this is an example where nil is going to change his life i think it's going to help him i think it's going to help his family and i think those are the stories i want to hear more when we're talking about the nil space well, a lot still on the board for the Longhorns. A lot of decisions about to be made here within the course of the next month or so. Justin Wells from Inside Texas, thanks for stopping by the Inside Scoop. None but love, J.D. Well, you've made it to the end of today's video, but there's hundreds more videos on the On3 Recruits channel for you to check out. And also, while you're here, hit subscribe.